Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Capricorn. Hey Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you and your energy. Alright, let's take a look guys. Let's get right to it. <laughs> Alright, you may see me pull out my little fancy pen real quick because I was... Well, okay, I'm using Harmonic, Wild Harmonic Oracle, these, right? And it's not one of those books where you can just go in and, hey, I mean, I guess you could, but not really. But the card that I did pull for you guys here, just to see overall, like, what are you dealing with? Maybe, what do you need to find harmony in, in your situation? So we're going to take a look and see. We have the first card here for you. This one is Air of Dimensional. Okay, so it talks about you guys always being ready. I'll tell you that. Um, and it kind of talks about interconnected, kind of inter interconnected intelligence, right? So that means you guys are bringing some things together. So I'm going to take my time with this one. All right, and I actually did write the pages out because... Okay. Air of Dimensional. Let me see if you, can, if you guys can see that. As an interconnected intelligence ascends into the dimensional expanse, infinity reveals that whatever is sought already is. Always ready. Whatever is sought already is. Okay, so that's the first thing that I'm getting for you guys. Now, seeing, small, seeing the small for the greatness and learning to recognize ways. Okay. You guys, I feel like, to an extent, it kind of feels like you need to big yourself up in a sense. All right, interconnected intelligence helps you do things. It helps you focus. It helps you understand your current situation and why there are some things from before that you take now and bring that wisdom, bring that knowledge. So in, to an extent, you're always ready. You just need to acknowledge that. I feel like you guys stay ready to an extent. But infinity reveals that whatever is sought already is. So whatever you put your mind to, you can do it. In what ways am I ready? In what ways am I already the being I wish to become? In what ways am I already the being I wish to become? All right, so let's look at that. In what? I'm writing guys all right so let me see now I do see something where you guys might be returning back to a situation I do see something here air for air it does talk about some sort of chaotic return all right because these are very air of air there's some sort of chaotic return there's something that you guys are gonna have to go back into and this could be why you're already on this stance of already ready. Whatever the situation is, it feels like to me you guys are in this situation um, where I feel like things change at the drop of a dime. Like you always have to be willing to adapt to whatever situation arises that moment, that day, whatever. So I feel like you guys are in a sense of this is always chaotic, but you looks like learn to function in a dysfunctional, or I don't want to say dysfunctional, I think a better word would be, um, well, chaotic, obviously, that's the card, but I'm just, it's like a very, I don't want to say, it's just one of those situations where it's like up in a fly, things change at the drop of a dime, like this is what it's supposed to be, but then you get something saying, or an email, or you get something saying, you know what, that's not how it goes, or you get some random like when did this happen type of so there's something that you are guy you guys might have to end up going back to that you might find chaotic but at the end of the day i think you guys will find some kind of common ground in something with the chaotic return it's not that you're going to find common ground really it's that you're going to be able to function in it because it's something that you're familiar with hmm. all right so i also see empathic offering here this is celestial of water so this is empathic offering we're going to take a look and see what this one is about got a few minutes guys so seriously when I can read stuff it's just to me so relaxing so 
I, I like it. <laughs> Some people don't care for it, but okay. Celestial of water. As the celestial energies embody into the flowing feeling of life, the depth of healing relations emerge. Healing relations, inquiry. What is it that I nourish myself with? that I can offer to the world for nourishment. So what is it that I do to myself or for myself that helps me feel better, helps me feel more in line, helps me feel more secure? What can I do to help other people? So I do feel there's some sort of helping energy. I feel like, guys, even if it is something that is... Yep, I have my notes here because that's for other ones. Yeah. Um, so I just feel like, you guys, there's something that you do for yourself that makes you feel better that makes you feel good and you're like i want to offer this to the world all right i want the world to be able to drink what it is i'm drinking because i feel good about it so i think you guys are very helpful when it comes to helping folks out all right and i think that you guys have been very successful with integrating things that you know meaning things that you pick up on just a whole bunch of influences that help you guys operate and offer some kind of help to a situation all right so that's one thing that I have for you guys. For some of you guys, this may not be your story. So let's go on to the next one. We have the full. For some reason, every single one of them came out reversed. Okay, so we have the full cards. Now, Capricorns, I feel like you guys are kind of going into some new project. It could be a new job. I feel like a lot of you guys could be um, eyeing... Uh, Maybe businesses or projects or something that you don't typically do. So I do feel like there could be a career change, change in industry, or you're considering it. Are you going to jump on it? I don't know if that's going to happen. All right? Because what at this moment, what I'm feeling, Capricorn, is the time for you to be independent may not be right now. It is not right now. All right? This is a full card. So some of you guys, and also, guys, this is Aquarius energy. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of... There's a lot of air energy here. Okay, so, yeah, so I feel like you guys might be trying to gain some sort of independence as it has to do with a business, a job, or something like that, um, some situation, it could be a living situation, it could be you tired of some sort of a situation, I feel like a lot of this is emotional, and I feel like you guys are taking the time to say, hey, this is something that I might want to do, I think you guys are taking the time to maybe make make a decision about something or there's something that you can pair in your head like this is something that I want to do I'm interested in this right so I see some of you guys you might work at a desk job and you want to go on Broadway you know what I mean and like you want to put on a show and think you're gonna to make tons of money doing it All right so that might be one of your dreams I'm see I'm starting to see a trend here with a lot of the readings that people are considering the unknown considering things because I feel like a lot of you guys have some sort of established something Right? Or there's something that you're like, hey, I finished high school, or hey, I finished college, or duh, I'm going to go do what I want to do because you feel like you're prepared. But you're being asked to really make a decision or think about, you know, I could give up everything I have and go for Broadway, but then, you know, it most likely is not going to be that easy. And so I feel like some of you guys are stuck between this fantasy. I want to chuck it all. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to go to the unknown. But some of you guys are just like, um, the reality is. So I think this is a reality versus fantasy or fantasy versus, rea versus reality with this full card. All right. So you guys are thinking about going into some sort of new beginnings. All right. You guys have some fresh hope or there's some new adventures that you want to take. This is reverse. So I do see some reluctance to do it. Because I feel like some of you guys may have a lot of stakes, so you can't just uh, chuck it all. But there are a group of you that can actually go and chuck it all. I don't know how easy that's going to be for you. It may be amazingly easy for some. I don't know what that means to you, so I'm going to leave that one right there. This is just the energy that I'm pulling, guys. I feel like on an internal level, if we look at the full card reverse, like I said, this is a battle between fantasy and also reality. So I feel like with the three of uh, wands reversed here, you guys are going within and doing a lot of work on an internal level. And I feel like you guys might be trying to get some clarity or clarifying what it is you need. What are my ideas? Trying to take a stance on really who you are is what I'm getting. 
question, right? So this is like maybe a creativity block of some sort for some of you guys. All right. Again, the energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this card. Okay. I see that a lot of the internal work that you're doing is going to resolve some sort of issues which allow you to dream because I feel like that may have been something you weren't able to do before. Like I wasn't able to see the other side. I was so down. Now I can pick myself back up because I'm starting to see that the issues that I had are starting to become resolved if they're not resolved already, all right? So for some of you guys, you're going to go public with some sort of creative idea that you have. This could be a business. This could be you taking your show on the road. Maybe you're doing comedy. I don't know. Maybe you chuck it all. Maybe some of you guys do comedy at night <laughs> and you go to work during the day or whatever this is to you. All right, so I feel like there are some new ideas that you guys are going to make public, but this is after doing some internal work on yourselves. Now, there's there's something that you guys need to be uh, just informed of here. Now, this is with the Eight of Swords reversed. Now, when I look at this card, it tells me that there are some things that have not been resolved yet, which is why a lot of you guys are... You either know you need to not do this right now because this is not the time to just chuck it all or whatever you're trying to do. This is not the right time because you have some things that are unfinished here, all right? Now, I understand that you guys are dreaming. I'm in a better place, but everything is not fixed yet. Everything is not fixed. You still have some things that are outstanding that you need to resolve, all right? This card here, the Eight of Swords Reverse, is telling us that things that are bad can also get worse. Things can get worse. All right, so there's some strange situation that is coming or has come up. And you're being advised that you need to get your affairs in order. So this could have to do with, you know, the fine print, taxes, uh, property taxes, insurance, whatever all this stuff is. Some of you guys have some legal matters that you might be worried about. All right, so these are the things that are outstanding, a few of them. Everybody's situation is different, but you guys need to... Um, get on top of these things because something is coming and your well-being is going to depend on you dealing with these issues all right now where's my water hold on okay guys mm. all right the last energy i have for you is the king of swords here all right now this card talks about Maybe some things that are being said in the background. Some things that are, like, not favorable. All right? So there could be some gossiping behind you. Um, there could be some internal superficial feelings. Um, the energy that I'm getting is either you or somebody else could be putting one up against the other. All right? So I feel like there could be a little manipulation here, but... It, It looks like there's some manipulation here. Let's just put it this way. Either on your end or somebody else's, all right? Now, this could also symbolize a person because this, I feel like this is a person. Now that I'm looking at it, this could be your energy or it could be somebody else's energy. You, This idea that you're saying or you're telling that you're going public with, this idea, Capricorn, that you have, like, hey, I want to open up a fruit stand downtown and, I don't know, sell whatever. I don't know. Fruit. I'm going to do that, or whatever. I'm going to sing with a band, and a, with a tambourine, whatever you're doing. This idea that you decide to go public with, somebody might have an issue with it, all right? People around you have a problem with this new idea that you have. So for some of you guys, maybe if this idea is not fully developed, maybe you should develop it a little bit more before you give it to the world. But some of you guys have already exposed this. So now... You better make this work because you already told everybody, hey, I'm going to open up a fruit stand. And they're like, okay, I don't know if you're in a position really to go open up a fruit stand when you got this, that, the other thing, and this and that. I don't know if that's going to bring you the abundance that you need at the moment. All right? So people are kind of looking like, hey, how is this going to play out? All right? So for some of you guys who have been gracious enough to keep it to yourself, you know, the, the path out of this is going to be a lot easier. Like, you you won't have to answer to anybody. But for those of you who decided to tell it, or whatever you did, you better make it happen. Or it's okay to go and fess up and say, hey, you know, I, I just had this. I had this temporary fleeting thought of being in a band with a tambourine and, you know, 
I don't feel like that today. So I guess my message to you guys with this is really just kind of decide what is fantasy, what is reality, what do I want to tell, what kind of criticism or feedback am I willing to accept? Because for some of you guys, you're not willing to accept any of it, which is why you're not telling. And for others of you, I don't think you care anyway. Because maybe you were in left field when you came up with this idea. But for a lot of you, I see that this has been something that's been developing for a minute. Okay, I see a lot of, I don't know, a lot of, it's, it's, it's a lot of energy that is, like, thinking. It's a lot of rational, the good thing is, you didn't just go out and say, hey, I'm just gonna, hey, you know what, I'm leaving a note, you know, I'll see you in a couple of years, I'm going to join the circus. You didn't do that. Some of you guys voiced this to somebody in hopes that they would give you some kind of feedback, like maybe that's not the best idea right now. And I think subconsciously you know this is not the best idea right now, whatever this is. All right, let me see what I can find for love for you guys. Hold on, let me pull these cards. Oh, man, I was hoping to find... I thought I had the small ones. Oh, well, I do not. I do. Yes, they are to here. I'm just going to pull a couple of cards on love. Okay. I'm using these. To me, this reading is not offbeat enough to be offbeat, so it's a regular reading. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we have here? Show me Capricorn in love, please. Show me Capricorn in love. Some of you guys, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, I see a lot of air, Aquarius here. You could be dealing with those folks. Unrequited love. Mm. All right, let's take a look at this. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Now, it's perverse. Literally, some of you guys are ready to jump out of the window with somebody, or you were, or you did, and you found out that that wasn't what it was in the area of love. Let's see what else comes up. Hold on. Love yourself first. Chaotic return. Hmm, that's interesting. Air, air, more air. Even air is... All right, so maybe some of you guys are going to have to deal with an air sign from the past, or maybe an air sign is coming back, or maybe they have come back and there was some kind of chaos here. Maybe you guys were accepting things that you felt like, why am I accepting this? And I need to love myself. So this person doesn't love me. I need to love myself first. Hold on. Deception. Mm, interesting. Okay, so let's take a look. Now, we were talking about some situation getting worse, right? Now, the deception card did come out upright. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And I think you guys had an inkling or something here. This could be somebody that you guys might be separating from, divorcing from. Um, it could be something having to do also... I don't, somebody deceived you. You might be wanting to get yourself together because maybe some of you guys have to exit a relationship, exit a living situation. All right. Um, unfortunately, your well-being, and I think we're starting to understand, some of you guys may have to relocate somewhere because your well-being does depend on having these things put together. So at the drop of a dime, always ready. I think some of you guys know that there's something that you have to do. Maybe you have to return into a situation and make peace with it, all right? Maybe this is somebody that you guys have to deal with. I do feel like there could be children here as well. Mm -hmm. More. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Mm -hmm. Romantic feelings. I think that you guys are acknowledging that you might have romantic feelings for somebody here. It looks like it's the King of Swords. So this might be the person who um, who might have been giving you a hard time. I think that you might still have feelings for this person, but you realize I might have to get out of something. Now, granted, if we take a look at these cards, unrequited love, love yourself first, deception, romantic feelings. I feel like some of you guys were betrayed, but you still have feelings for um, a particular person. Romantic, your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, I feel like some of you guys are going to go plead your case to somebody who you feel 
you may have taken big steps for and they didn't do the same thing for you. Or some of you guys are going to go to somebody and say, hey, I know you don't love me, but I have romantic feelings for you. Can I offer you this? Will this change anything? So I see some pleading. <laughs> pleading. Ooh, 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 wedding. This is a spouse for some of you guys. Some of you guys were deceived by somebody you are married to or you were going to marry or something like that. So, ooh. Okay. So, whatever that means to you guys. Now, let me just take a look. I haven't used these in a while. And we're going to set that aside. And some of the lights went out, so it's a little darker. Sorry, guys. Let's take a look and see what other signs this could be about. All right. Let's see what we got so far. Capricorn. Oh, wow. Some of you guys could be <laughs> Some of you guys could be dealing with another Capricorn. Mhm. Mm some of you guys here, let's see what else came out. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Yep, there's a lot of air energy here. I'm not surprised by that. Um I thought it maybe would be Aquarius, but now that you know Gemini comes out, I'm not surprised by that. Let's see. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Okay. I do see some water if you want to look at it that way <laughs> well it is celestial water so okay those could those could just be your emotions all right yeah, hold on i need to do that out of camera so let me see one more who else who else is a possibility here a virgo some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo all right so let's see what else we have for you who is this Capricorn. okay let me see what else we have and let me see if I have any messages I need to give to you. Maybe some fairy messages or something like that. Let's take a look. Hold on, guys. I'm pulling these cards. Okay, I'm going to pull these. They are called the Magic of Unicorns. They're oracles. Okay. Give me a card for Capricorn, please. Ooh, all right. That one wanted to fall. I'll take it. It just felt... Think outside the box. View things from a higher perspective. I feel like a lot of you guys are looking for a new beginning in the way you communicate with people. I feel like this is going to start to, um, I feel like this is going to start to create some sort of stability that you're looking for in terms of communication. Like knowing I said everything I said, I didn't miss anything. I feel like you guys are going to do a better job of or find a different way to communicate with somebody who might be maybe difficult to communicate with. Or somebody who's just not seeing things the way you see them. But then you come back to yourself and you're like, maybe I'm not explaining it. So I think you guys are trying to find different ways to communicate with somebody. Some, something about the way you express yourself. The way you have to grow some kind of relationship with somebody. I believe that this could be a spouse. I don't know if you guys are whatever. Cocoon of white light. Rest in perfect love, understand oneness. So again, you guys are looking for something to be, you guys could be looking for some kind of renewal with a spouse or a partner. All right. Cocoon of light, a C, new beginnings. This talks about you trying to give birth to something, some, something that you want to bring into fruition. And we also see there that with that, something becomes complete for you. You guys may have the ability to renew something with somebody. When you renew a relationship, it does not always have to be romantic, right? In some cases, and I, I you know, I just feel like co-parenting co is really coming up a lot. Okay, so that's something where you guys can, I can deal with you. We can have some sort of renewal. We're not going to have that romance, but we are going to co-parent. This is going to be the end of a cycle of manipulation, things like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like that, let me get one more. One more, please. <sighs> All right. Some of you guys have a closed heart at the moment because you are blocked creatively, intellectually, in some cases physically. All right. I feel like the emotions. I feel like the thinking. I feel like you guys are being rational. But I do see a pinch of maybe I need to open up my heart. Okay, maybe, I feel like, let's, let's put it this way. If we were to look at this, I feel like you guys are just doing the work to not only communicate better with other people, but also to define what it is you need. What are my personal needs? What makes me happy? 
doing it this way makes me happy. It feels better when I do it this way. So I think you guys are kind of developing your own way of communication and how things are going to go and how you want to communicate with somebody else. We can rebuild this relationship, you know, respect, boundaries, da 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 open your heart. So some of you guys are thinking of different ways. How can we make this happen? Love yourself. Dare to be vulnerable. I feel like you guys are not there at the moment, but this is something you are contemplating. And I feel like when you guys are vulnerable, it'll help uh, people open up to you. All right, so I do feel like there's a lot of closed off energy. I feel like there's a lot of thinking, contemplating, a lot of fantasizing. What is my reality? What is fantasy? What is reality? Did I leave my family so I could run off to the circus? Did I think that was a great idea? Or, you know, just stuff like that. And trying to define what can be selfish and who is involved. Let's let's look at that. How can I rebuild something with somebody? This could be an ex. You know, your child's mother, your child's father, whatever this is to you. I feel like there needs to be some rebuilding. I feel like there's a bunch of messages in here, but I really feel like Capricorn. I feel like you guys are looking at maybe why something didn't work. And looking at how we can make it work given the circumstances that are current. So that's all I have for you guys. That's all I have. I don't make this too complicated. Um, but when I have time, I try and probe it a little deeper. Yeah. All right. So that's all I have for you guys. Capricorn, it was awesome reading for you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Wait, wait, wait. I, I wanna... Yeah, remember what I said, guys. Remember something's coming up for you that you need to be prepared for. I want to just make sure I emphasize that. You guys are always ready for some sort of chaos that comes up. I don't know if that's a, a, a project thing, work thing, partnerships, business partnerships, groups of people. Hmm, okay, uh, give me, just give me a couple more. I want to just, why not? <laughs> We're ready 27 minutes, right? Oh, love life. Affairs of the heart. Could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Awesome. All right. Make sure you see that. Okay. Give me one more. So we know something, some decision about your love life, and we do kind of see that affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take... Now, I did mention to you guys that there's something coming up for you, right? All right. So that kind of helps us back it up a little bit we also have the society card notice it came out reverse say yes to all the wonderful imitate invitations coming to coming your way excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result new love interests mm -hmm. so this could also be about somebody not loving you unrequited love and then you run into this new person here because you guys are going to end up having some kind of love interest approach you about something, something having to do with networking opportunities. Uh, and I think you single Capricorns, uh, you're going to run into somebody that might interest you. You might actually, okay, let's see, sunshine reverse. Now that was reverse. So maybe some of you guys too, and let me just finish that off. Say yes, maybe some of you guys are not going to, are not going to accept all of the invitations that you're going to be getting. Maybe some of them you have to turn down. See, to me, like, when I'm able to pick up on this stuff, for some people, every little thing is relative or there's something that is relative. You, somebody called me. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. Listen, I told you guys you're working on your communication and it's going to pay off big time. It is. Now, when I go back up here, I see that you, a lot of you guys are like this. Something going on uh, where you guys are, I don't know, looking up certain things online about jobs. I feel like some of you guys might, might now be entertaining recruiters for some reason. Is there anything else I'm picking up here? Hmm. I see that you guys are always helpful. You always do little things to help people and make them feel better but you guys have some other energies that you need to focus on like what is my future what is reality what is me throwing it all out all out the window some of these things have to do with somebody who is married 
and then there's somebody new that you could be entertaining. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So whatever, however this pertains to you, work all that stuff out. All right, guys, that's all I got for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, please. All right, bye, guys.